down to a spot like right off the bat. The closest you had was an I'm offended by Ruby up top again suffering the first blood here. You're gonna struggle really honestly you're gonna struggle so much and your only other option was uh, the stun off of the uh, Brody. The Brody, yeah, right? yeah. So you're, you're already losing a battle if you're just talking about the junglers alone. But there was indeed a point here, we're gonna see later in the highlights, wherein, yeah, Edward and Kevier hit that spike. Yep, that spike was all they needed, oh, right? Here's the outplay, oh. here's the outplay. Look oh, at that. Come on, seriously. Suplex plus the knockup. And that's how strong Dilarski, uh, well, Dilarski is, from the early game to the mid game up to the late game. He's always up there. Um, well, maybe around 90% kill, kill participation for this young guy right here. Oh, there's another one. Hatred being the other half of that <laughs> engagement. And then look, they're taking care of Eson too. As usual, Hatred's a sacrificial lamb for Onyx. As <laughs> always. I don't know, that's his role in that team. Yeah. And they, it works well for them, you know? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Here's that turning point. Here's that one point we're in. Okay, Onyx. Onik was like, okay, too too much, too much. Too much damage, especially for, for Marky. His quick draw and the double shot, just all those crits from the Berserker's Fury oh. is already popping with just one quick draw, with oh. just one first kill right there. So, wow, it, it, Black International really had a difficult time. How can they kill this Farsa, this Clint, and this Fanny without uh, expending all of our ultimates? Yeah. And even if they do spend quite a bit of ultimates, if it's an if it's Eson, if it's a Ruby that they take out, uh -huh. there's so many free things. And look, Hatred actually might have survived that. He had a uh, immortality right there. And if I'm not mistaken, this is close to the end. Maybe second, uh, second to the last team fight. Mm. Yeah. What what keeps happening is they're 50-50 on the first engage, but they don't have any more bullets in the barrel for the second re-engage. Yeah. And that's because their ultimates are out. Their stuns are out. So you can't really do anything against such a mobile lineup that Onyx has. Yeah. Oh no. It this is the end. There you go. All right. So